The first tractor they ever got was a 1951 B. John Deere. You know, they plowed with it, disc with it, cultivated with it. That's where Daddy's love of John Deere's come in. Of course, that old tractor was the first one I ever drove. And once you hear that putt-putt, nothing else like it. Actually, I was well up into my 30s when Daddy started collecting. But my sons, they hung with Daddy on the farm all the time, and they were just thrilled with tractors. They both started driving tractors when they were probably 10, and they were green ones. In Daddy's mind, the Waterloo was the elite of the John Deere's, even though it's, it was the predecessor. Daddy found an auction where he had a chance to go bid on one up in Illinois. Come to me and told me, said, uh, said you know, Waterloo said, uh, there's going to be some big collectors there. That house, you know, that might bring $35,000. He said, I've never given that much for a tractor. Well, I looked Daddy square in the eyes and I said, Daddy, that's not a tractor, that's a toy. And I could see it in his eyes. The light bulb went off and I'd said the wrong thing because it was well in excess of $35,000 when he come home with that Waterloo tractor that night. Well, the Waterloo was definitely one of the crowns, but Daddy also liked the 62, the L, the LA, the LI, the unstyled L, and the little Y, the Nova. Uh, I think he thought about as much of those little ones as he did the big Waterloo. One of the toys, Daddy has, has got a bunch of precision cast John Deere toys. And so every time something new as far as the precision cast, come on the market, Donald Rowland, the owner of the John Deere tractor dealer here in town, would call Daddy, Daddy go over, and he'd come walking back across the road with an arm load of toys. Then Daddy would go to auctions, he bought bicycles, there's four or five John Deere bicycles, the old plow seats, he had an eye for that kind of stuff. And there's a John Deere dinner bell there. Mom had a sister that lived in Arkansas and just by chance, Mom stumbled upon this dinner bell at an antique store somewhere around Little Rock and bought it and crated it up. We had it shipped to the cabinet shop and kept it hid from Daddy for about three months and then brought it out here to the farm while he was at work so she could give it to him when he got home from work. Daddy started the cabinet business in 1969, Dillon Cabinet in Millwork right here in Lebanon. And that was the year Cracker Barrel Old Country Stores went in business. We partnered up with them, worked in the very first restaurant they ever built, and they've worked in every one of them ever since. It's become between 85 and 90 percent of the business we do a year. Either new stores or remodels or management services for Cracker Barrel restaurants. Well, allegedly the story is a guy that worked for John Deere when they recalled that to build the 62. He carried enough parts out of the John Deere plant to put one of them back together. My crew took off, they went out through Nebraska, did their tabletops, stopped in Omaha on the way back through, picked up a tractor, and we brought it to Dillon Cabinet and unloaded it at a loading dock. I actually made him a little money on that trip. <laughs> Stop by and see the entire Dillon Brothers collection at the Iowa premiere in Davenport, Iowa. We'll see you there.